Yeah. Hey, what's up, guys? How y'all doing? We're finally getting ready to shoot some. Of... As you, oh, I thought you were about to turn it off. No, again. you're cool. You're cool. Once Keep again, going. I'm prepared. We're Everyone's been about asking. To shoot Raven. Everyone's been asking for it, so we decided we're gonna come out here and we're gonna shoot a little bit of Raven for you guys. Uh, Brad, I know, has been asking a lot about. Everyone yep. wants to see her shoot. We've cleaned her lots of times. Uh, we've gone over a lot of her functionality and everything and how she works. And I know you guys have been excited to shoot it. We're going to be shooting the 223 round today. And uh, we're also going to go ahead and we're going to change the bolt out and show you guys how the, uh, how the 22 long rifle works on this thing as well. Oh, yeah. So, guys, stick around. We're going to get to shooting. We've got some targets set up down there. Let me see if we can actually see them for you guys. One of the targets is kind of camouflaged in there, in the upside down bottle, if you see it. We got, it, we got some targets hidden in the hillside right there. Uh, some bone. We want to see what's going to happen when you shoot bone. So, you guys stick around. Uh, we're going to get ready to shoot. And uh, we'll get back to you in a sec. Okay, guys, as always, make sure we're going to practice our safety first. Uh, Chris and I are wearing our glasses. We do have safety glasses, though, for our friends who don't wear glasses. And as always, make sure you wear your earplugs. Chris is going to go ahead and rock the standard green, our uh, standard earplugs, and I'm going to go ahead and fire the combat plugs. So, guys, we're going to get to it. See you in a second. All right, guys, we're ready to go ahead and get started. We're going to go ahead and get our magazine ready. We're going to load it into the well. Got that in there good and snug. Charge the weapon. Whoops. There we go. We are lock, stock, ready to rock, guys. So we're going to get to shooting. Remember, always safety first. Whenever we're done shooting, we're going to place the weapon back on safe. Never going to point the barrel at each other. And we're always going to have a good time and have fun with this gun. And it is a very fast weapon, so you guys, we, uh, you're going to see it cycle like a beast. So hang tight. Oh. All right, guys, you ready to see the M4 Raven cycle? We're going to shoot a few rounds nice and slow just to get a sight picture. We're going to aim for the bone over there. And uh, once I feel like the weapon is cycling correctly, we're going to go ahead and open her up to full speed. Uh, so we'll see what she does. Here we go, guys. Placing the weapon on safe to semi. Commencing fire. This one's for you, Brad. Three, two, one. <laughs> Throw enough ammo at it, you'll hit it eventually. Absolutely. That was fun, man. That was 30 rounds, guys. That cycled quick. Well, I don't think that was 30 rounds. It might have been about 25. But, uh, woo! That cycled, baby. That cycled. Not a single jam. All right, Chris, you're up, bud. All right. Still recording? No, let's go ahead and stop it. Now, nah, keep it running. Keep it running. Grab a new mag. Get some, buddy. Whoa, guys. That was so much fun. That was so much fun. Oh, that's how you relieve some stress. You just ride the bolt forward, press that button on the left. Yep. There you go. You're good. Hold on. Hey, never wrong to ask for help. See this right here? Yeah, I was thinking that. That's, that's it. How it was dual Let me know once you cycle from safe to semi. All right. From safe to semi. Safe to semi. Fire range is hot. Get him, buddy. Safe to semi. Mags out. And set it down. Clear. Barrel up. No, don't set the, there you go. Wonderful, wonderful, guys. Woo! That's how you empty some ammo, guys. I'll tell you what. That was fun. Let's go out and check our targets and we'll see how everything's looking. So I wanted to show you guys this because I'm sure you've seen it in Call of Duty, the double magazine setup. Uh, now Chris was telling me he's seen it where people do it side by side and, and all that. And uh, this is the up and down one. This is an actual military style uh, magazine clip. So uh, the way it works is basically is you would just put the magazine in and then uh, when you're done firing, you would drop the magazine, turn it around, come up for the next one and you're all set to go for another 30 rounds. Uh, I don't particularly like this. It kind of throws the weapon off balance a little bit. So when you're holding it, it kind of wants to pull it to one side. But uh, if that's the way you like doing it, it is, uh, it is pretty nifty and uh, high speed as they like to call it. Uh, but uh, we're going to get ready to blast some more guys. So. Stick around, we'll be shooting in just a sec.
Weapon is off safe. Oh boy, here we go. Fun time. So I'm gonna get a little soup of cereal and aim at that bone. I might do some little bit of shenanigans afterwards. Get some. Tag me in battle. Tags out. Woo! It's all safe. <laughs> She's smoking. <laughs> bring that gun here while it's smoking. Huh? Bring the shot and bring the gun while it's smoking. I got it zoomed in. Look at that smoke. See, you know it's doing its job. Woo! That's fun. Who needs a therapist? Just, if we still record, and blast 30 rounds, all the stress goes away. Um, let's keep shooting some more. Let's just keep Why her not? going. Uh, record. Grab another mag and. We Not the it. green ammo. I'll show you guys while we're here. Yep. I've got uh, some ammo here. Can't really buy any more of it. You see the tip of it, it's green ammo. Means it's uh, armor piercing. They don't sell these anymore, unfortunately. So I do keep a round of 30. I think I got about 50 of these on hand. How's but... your black mag will hold it? Oh, that's the stock one. It fires just fine. It doesn't, it's not fully loaded. But uh, fire off what you want, man. Knock it out. Earplugs going in. All right. Weapons off safe. Let's see here. Blast away, good sir. Blast away. Take some time to do a little precision on this one. Yeah. Try to. Did we hit that bone? Oh yeah, we definitely nailed oh, yeah, it. I, I split the. I think I split the bone in half. Right nice, there. nice. Little, little low. Little low. Oh, okay. I got you. My bad. Why not do a little bit of Rambo? Do it. Legs out. Right behind you. Fire from the hip. If those don't lie. Hasta la vista! It's still alive! Let's go get some. Oh, yeah. How many rounds you got left in there? I don't know. Enough? Enough. Fire away. Hip fire that bitch. Hip fire? Hip fire. I bet you only gave me two rounds. Was that it? You're a horrible friend. Hold on. Is it it's empty. Weapon's unsafe. All right. Stay down. We'll reload this thing up and we'll shoot some more. <laughs> That's so much fun. Oh, gosh. I do want to let you guys know that, uh, yeah, we're out here shooting like, like madmen and having fun. Um, we are actually exercising all safety. Um, uh, I do know how to shoot uh, with breathing control, trigger squeeze and all that. Uh, but that's not what I'm here to do right now. Um, yeah, I can do, when I was in the military, I was trained to shoot at 500 meters, and I don't want to get a whole lot into that. Point is, though, is that Chris and I, we both know how to shoot correctly, and we are very, very well aware that this is not the proper way to... Uh, to shoot for accuracy, but we're not here for accuracy. We're here to have fun, and uh, that's part of what you can do with guns is have fun. We're still doing it in a safe manner. Nobody is in any kind of threat. We're just having a good time out here. So uh, for all those gun nuts out there who are telling me that I'm shooting like just an absolute madman and uh, we're not doing any of the fundamentals of weapon handling, you're absolutely correct, and that's because that's not what I'm here to do. But uh, we're out here having fun. We're enjoying the M4, uh, shooting Raven, quote the Raven, never more, and. Uh, you guys stick around, we're going to keep shooting some more ammo, and we're going to switch over to the 22 in just a little bit.
You having fun, dude? Mags in. Round chamber. You aim for that it's bone? Really fun. Huh? It's getting a little warm, though. Yeah, though, it's going to get a little warm. Let me zoom in on that target, see if you can nail the bone. All see right. if I can find it in the viewfinder. Where is the bullet? Oh, there it is, just to the right of that tree. There it is. Hold on. All right. All right, go ahead and kill it. I gotta hold it a certain way, the barrel's getting hot. Go do whatever you gotta do, bud. You ready? It's still, it's still low. Adjust your target. Oh, keep going. Just shy, how, just how shy. How is it comparatively? Because I'm covering the whole thing with the sight. The, uh, it, it's your trigger squeeze. You're, you're pulling up and down. You're breathing control. Over it now. Are you? Well, yeah. you got to remember the ground isn't level. Stand up. Shoot at an angle downward. Hold on. There you go. To the left. That's trigger squeeze. Down a little. There she blows. There she blows. Now your sights are off um, when you're aiming it. Aim at the base of the sight, not the tip. Well, we'll adjust it in a minute. There she goes, right on point. Empty the mag! Woo! One, and shoot. All right, guys, we're gonna go ahead and fire the last of these two, two, three before we switch over to the 22. So uh, let's go ahead and see if we can uh, do a little precision shooting and tag that bone. So I'm going to be shooting from the, uh, the sitting position here and I'm going to monopod style it using the magazine. So uh, here we go. Low. Low. Still low. Remember I said aim with the base. Huh? Aim with the base of the front sight. I gotta bring this target to this sight down. Oh, almost, you're a little high. Just shy to the right low. You're low continuously. There you go, you nicked the bottom base. I split it in half. I split it in half. Let's go check this thing out. All right, you just want to split this bone in half, huh? Yeah. Are you on the recording? Hold on, yeah, let me get a better picture behind you. All right, go ahead and fire when ready, good sir. So, we've been nicking this bone, but not actually hitting it. I want to see if we would happen when we get a dead shot. Seeing that the sights are a little off, we're going to have to get a little close and cheat. Five rounds in. Well, we'll fire. sight it in later correctly. Right now we're having fun. There it goes. All right. Bring the bone over. See how it's bearing. Yeah, go get it. Is the weapon on safe? Yeah. yeah. No, you left the weapon no, on no, fire. No. Edit that out. Edit that out. You're all good. You're all good. Hey, that's why we check each other. Battle buddies check each other. Straight on through. 
So we brought this large bone with us to shoot. And we kept on just grazing it on the tips, grazing on the side. Finally got one to go straight on through. You can see the entry wound on the front side. Ah, there's the entry. And there's the exit. And see, like the nice thing is, is the bullet came in straight and then it tumbled. It looks like it rolled this way. Yep. And then it uh, it just opened it up. So that's what it does to bone. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to go ahead and reset the weapon. We're going to change out the uh, the inner guts of it so we can shoot some little 22 go plinking. And uh, we're going to show you the operation of that in just a second. Okay guys, so now we're ready to go ahead and shoot some 22 ammo. So what we got to do is we got to change the guts out. So all we're going to do is we're going to open up the weapon system. I'm going to zoom in on that. And uh, we're going to pull out the existing bolt. It's a little warm, but we're okay. And uh, then all we're going to do is we're going to take the new uh, bolt and bolt carrier, slide it into place, lock it down, close the weapon system up. Guys, it's that simple. One, two, three, bolt is out, new bolt is in. We're ready to shoot some 22 ammo. Let's get to it. Okay guys, so we've got that new bolt in. We've got our uh, 22 magazine here. Uh, if you'll notice now that when we cock the weapon, it doesn't go as far back. Keep it open. So the, mag the, the charging handle only pulls about halfway, quarter way now. That's because the 22 is a much smaller round. It doesn't need to chamber as much of a large round. So, uh, so do what now? Point the mag at me. Oh, the, ma zoom oh, the mag, right there we go. A little 22 ammo right there for you. You can see how the thing has been adapted to fire. And again though, short cock. Very short cock. So we're going to go ahead and take that. We're going to insert it into the system. Click it in. We're ready to shoot some little 22. Weapon is on safe. Let me get my earplugs. Ears on. All right, one second. Where did I put that other plug? There it is. Get to enjoy that beautiful scenery. And of course, 22 fires just as fast. Now doesn't the 22 have a higher chance of jamming? Uh, not in this weapon. I don't have a, I've never had a single jam out of this thing yet like that. Uh, so here we go. Let's go ahead and go with the long right. Here we go. Look, look, look at the recoil. Okay. Pausing. Here, Chris. Yeah, all right. Feel that the difference. It's 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 amazing. <laughs> it's a BB it's like gun. A, yeah, it's like a BB gun. Let's load up some more ammo. Keep her going. Alright, we got another box of 22 ammo here. Went to load it up. Only one bag. That's the thing, the downside is I haven't bought any more magazines for that style of a uh, of 22. I'll go and sit her down. We're gonna go ahead and load it up. Here you go, Chris. See the oh, nice she thing is. Out. Huh? She sticks out. Oh yeah. Like I said, these this ammo is so much cheaper, guys. I can go shooting this stuff dang near all day. Uh, the 22 ammo is does get a little pricey, or the, excuse me, the 223 ammo does get a little pricey, but uh, not so much with this cheap stuff. We can shoot this all day and barely spend a couple bucks. And got a Fort Campbell helicopter flying overhead. Oh, sh Chinook! Yep. Got a Chinook overhead. That's the dual rotored one, guys. The two rotor. So if you ever see the helicopter with the one of the rotor in the front, and the rotor in the back, that's the Chinook. If you ever see a Chinook with a fuel rail in the front, that's how you know it's a boy Chinook. <laughs> this ammo does load a lot slower, though. It's single stack, isn't it? Yeah, it doesn't. Because the Clinton vans? Yeah, it doesn't. Uh... No, not because of the Clinton van. It's just the, the shape they had to make it for the spring to work inside okay. this one. They do make a 50 cal adapter for this weapon as well. 50 cal? But it's a 50 cal slug. Jesus. And uh, it, all you do is you wind up changing the entire upper receiver. So instead of just pulling that one pin we changed in the back, you pull both pins, put a new uh, upper barrel receiver on it, and uh, and then it's ready to fire 50 cal slug. Now is this a 30 round as well? Or? 30 round as well. You gotta remember the 22, the only difference in the size between a 22 and a uh, and a 223 is the length of the, of the cartridge for more power, for more punch. 
and the bullet is a little more aerodynamic, but for the most part, they're almost the exact same size. Should be good. All right, we'll go ahead and get ready to fire that. I got my earplugs in. We're still ready to rock. Go ahead and shoot them up. Light it up, dude. Again, guys, this is just a little 22, uh, simple firing system, just for fun. Double feed. Oh, double fired. Oh, had a jam. Double, double feed. It's double firing? Yeah. That's cool. That's it. All right. I have noticed though, when you put the 22 receiver in there, uh -huh. you can't put it in safe until after you pull out the magazine, recock it, yeah. and then put it in safe. Yeah, well that's even with the standard round. Even a standard round will do that. That's oh, yeah, just... But it would automatically recock itself. Yeah, it'll it'll fire it again. But uh, it'll... Uh... It's a little different with the 22 because you're, again, it's not the functionality of the weapon to do that. But uh, we've adapted it to make it do that for fun. Alright, I'm going to load up that magazine, then I'm going to get some. Let's do it. Let's shoot it like a sand people. You remember the sand people? <laughs> so I guess I'd be like this. Oh, little jam. See, trying to be fancy. Say hello to my love friend. You got any left? Shoot it one-handed. Nope, that's Empty it. Empty jabber. That's it. Oh. There we go. And. All right, guys, that's going to conclude our uh, our demonstration of, uh, of Raven. Almost a demonstration of me dying. Oh, uh, you can take those plugs out. Those hurt my ear. So uh, thanks so much, guys, for sticking by, uh, hanging out with us to shoot Raven and play with her. We had a lot of fun. Chris, oh, yeah. did you have a good time? When do uh, I not have enough time? Guys, fun. if you've been liking this video so far, if you like rapid fire, go ahead and hit that thumb up button. Remember, everything we are shooting here is semi and completely legal. Uh, we would never do anything illegal. Never. Uh, that's no fun. That's no fun. It's no fun when we shoot illegally. But when we shoot legally and have a good time, everybody has fun. We had a nice, safe day today. Uh, I'd say we probably put a few hundred rounds down range at least. Oh, yeah. And uh, that's a good day for shooting. Uh, get some training in. Always familiar yourself with your, uh, familiarize yourself. With your weapons. I know, Fort. They're so pesky. But uh, Chris, again, thank you so much for having us out to your uh, house Anytime. to shoot some on the property. Guys, if you're interested in getting an AR or having some fun in some sport shooting, uh, I would definitely suggest an, uh, an M4 or AR. Uh, AR does not stand for assault rifle. It's made by a company called Armored Light, and that's yep. what it stands for. But uh, it's a great weapon for plinking, fun, uh, deer hunting. If you want to shoot 30 deer and don't have to reload, that's the round for you right there. Uh, the gun for you. Um, I had a great time again. Thank you so much, Chris. Thank you to everybody out there. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button, and uh, I appreciate it. Let's do our shout-outs real quick, too. Uh, oh, yeah. We need to shout-out to, of course, that's Brad, who is now over 7,000 subscribers, guys. Wow, you guys are making him grow so much. We're also going to shout-out, that's Ash, uh, or excuse me, just Ash, yep. who, uh, who is now over 600 subs, guys. Wow, he's just really climbing those charts. I also want to shout-out to a new YouTuber who just got started. Um, that's Lucy. Really? Uh, she's been watching That's Brad uh, do his magnet fishing, so she started doing her magnet fishing as well. Uh, great little kid there. She sent me a message. She's one of my subscribers, so we want to shout out to That's Lucy as well. That's Brad, Just Ash, and That's Lucy. Also, of course, we can't forget our friends Phil. Uh, uh, Phil, Phil off, off his tree. Phil off his tree. We can never forget Phil off his tree. Uh, a Gaston, who's been a great follower of my channel so much lately. Um, to all my fans who've been out there for so long, if I forgot your name and you guys want to shout out in the next video, go ahead and hit it in the comments below so I know and I remember to go ahead and put you in there. Again, guys, it's been a great day coming out here, playing with some guns, having a good time, keeping it safe is what the big important thing was. Uh, I've had a great time. I had brought some pants for Chris. We were going to have him wear me wear army pants. and him He was going to have me wear Canuck pants. The Canadian army pants. I forgot him at the house, though. Uh, but uh, Canadian Army, uh, big shout out to you guys who are awesome out there. To all our soldiers here at Fort Campbell, thank you so much for what you guys do. Don't forget a shout out to the press. And of course to our Nashville Predators who, uh, who went all the way to the Stanley Cup Finals this last year. Uh, we're excited to see what they can do Go this Preds year. Go Preds this year. Go, Go Preds. Preds. So uh, if you like guns, you like Preds, hit that thumb up button, subscribe, and we'll stay tuned for some more. Guys, thanks so much again. You guys see easy. We'll catch you in the next video. Later.